Out of the 1.4 million French soldiers who died in World War I, he is believed to be the last. Augustin Trebouchon met his end only minutes before the ceasefire, a tragic fate that could have been avoided. Trebouchon was living in the Lorraine Mountains in the south of France when the war broke in 1914. At the age of 36, he was not obliged to join the army, but his love for the nation made him choose otherwise. I think at the time the sense of duty was much stronger. When they saw other men leaving, they felt they had to join them. In the war, Trébouchon discovered the horror of the trenches and survived three major battles. For those who knew him, he was a very good soldier with a private first-class status, which was important at the time because he could easily find his way in nature, probably because he'd worked as a shepherd. He was in charge of delivering messages. After fighting in Verdun, Trebouchon arrived in the Ardennes on the border with Belgium. On November 11, 1918, he and his regiment crossed the Meuse River. A few kilometers away, French and German high-ranking officers were negotiating the armistice, putting an end to the war at 5.15 in the morning. But in the battlefield, the message of the ceasefire did not arrive until 11 o'clock. At 10.50, Trebouchon received the unfortunate task of delivering a message to fellow soldiers. When he was delivering the message, he was hit in the head by a burst of machine gun fire. The message was very mundane. It said that soup would be served at 11.30. His death would remain a mystery for decades. A falsified death certificate was dated on the 10th of November. It's difficult to accept that he died after the ceasefire was signed. It implied his death was a moral and military mistake. On this war memorial, his name is among hundreds of others. There's no indication of his historical significance as the last French soldier allegedly killed in what became known as the war to end all wars. <laughs>